Running a foreign diplomatic service doesn't come cheap, certainly not with the crises there have been in the Middle East and the row with Iran over suspicions it's developing a nuclear weapon, not to mention maintaining ties with trusted partners around the world. The cost for 2011? 464 million euros. Before signing off such sums, members of the Budget Control Committee in Parliament wanted reassurances from the EU's chief diplomat that it was being well and transparently spent. I hope you will accept that I too have tried to set out the relationship in a very transparent way. At its core, Europe is supposed to be about the free movement of people and labour. But what if certain practical obstacles get in the way? Like the failure of one member to recognise the professional qualifications of another, preventing them working away from home. It comes crashing down, according to Constance Lucry, French MEP who's steering corrective measures through Parliament. We want to really simplify, improve, make the procedures more efficient. Plus rapide, moins lourde et moins bureaucratique. L'objectif, c'est vraiment d'accroître la mobilité, de donner cette faculté de mouvement, cette faculté de mobilité à l'intérieur de l'Union européenne, parce que nous pensons qu'il est important de créer un véritable marché européen du travail. First steps for new legislation to protect people who submit often vast amounts of personal data online without really understanding who's using it and what for. Despite massive advances in digital technology recently, the laws governing data protection are 15 years old. And according to Jan-Philippe Albrecht, managing the issue for Parliament, it's time for an upgrade. There should be more transparency and information about what is happening, for example, with profiling uh, of my personal data which is taking place. I should be able to understand that and to take an informed decision uh, if I want to expose my data or not.